Hello there, folks, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much indeed for tuning in as a oh, fucking hell. Recording into this thing today, because this mic has bust, so it's a bit of an illusion. Um, <laughs> today we're talking about something which I feel a lot of guys perhaps might struggle with, but I think it's a really important rule, how karma affects your life. The seven positive rules. Uh, right, number one, first one, the law of cause and effect. So every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's first law of physics, I believe. But if you think about it, every impact, every conversation, every action you take with somebody, with, you know, be it a conversation, be it um, a gesture, whatever it is, that has an impact on someone down the line. You might make someone's day by giving them a compliment. You might also ruin someone's day by having a go at them, for whatever reason it might be. But the, the law of cause and effect is a massive positive thing to get a grip of. The next one kind of runs a little bit counter to what we just said, the law of detachment. To be able to detach from your opinions, from your thoughts and from your actions, anxiety creeps in wherever it can get in, right? So if you're able to cut that out and somehow detach from your actions and from your day to day, then you're ultimately gonna be in a happier place. I feel anyhow, it does work for me, difficult to do, Balance, the law of balance, right? The universe is in a state of constant equilibrium. Things are moving up and down. So if you if you think about it, oh my god, you know, if you think if you think about it, like you if you if you move if you if you got a pair of scales balancing, where am I going with this? One of them, the other one. I'm not drunk when I'm doing this, by the way. I promise, I'm not drunk. Okay, I found this on the web for basically units. Siri's now trying to take over. Shut up, Siri. Let's skip to the next one. Manifestation. I have strong views on manifestation. I think it deserves a whole other video on it. Um, your thoughts, your beliefs, and your environment are everything to what you want your life to be like. If you think about stuff, if you imagine your best version of yourself when you wake up, for example, that is how you're going to be for the, for the day. If you have that as your mindset for the day, I'm going to have a great day today, then ultimately, that's generally the vibe of what it, the day is going to be like. In my experience, anyhow, if you if you wake up with the start at the start of the day and you, you're all over the shop, you know, stressed out, you know, frazzled, look at your phone straight away, which I'm guilty of personally. Um, if you do that straight off the bat, you, you're ultimately going to be like firing up those cortisol levels straight away. Manifest yourself in the sense of thinking positively for a good day ahead. It's difficult because we've all got stuff going on, but if you can step out of the house with a positive step. Having that positive mindset, having that positive attitude um, brings abundance, I believe. It might do some other form of good. You might, I don't know, just have a cracking day. Something like that. Things might just go well for you. You might get a lot of yeses. The law of growth. Think about growth as a mindset. Now, I hear a lot of coaches talking about this on the old Instagram. What is a growth mindset? Growth mindset for me is thinking about, it's being open-minded. But if you have an attitude to growth where you are open, to conversations, to opportunities, you don't shut anyone down, you listen to people, you take on board points and you, you maybe, I don't know, you maybe have, you maybe learn something for the day. Learning is the key to that law of growth, in my opinion. And lastly, the law of forgiveness. A very difficult one for positive karma this. Forgiving, being generous, forgiving someone who has maybe annoyed you for, for one reason or another. Forgiving somebody for whatever it might be. It might be so minor that it's easily brushed off. But sometimes we hold those grudges within us. And those grudges eat away. They eat away at the soul. But holding grudges isn't good. Isn't Holding grudges isn't good for positive karma. I think the law of forgiveness effectively means letting go of all that baggage. Letting go of all that nonsense that's holding you back. So there we go. What do you reckon about your, those positive messages of karma? Karma is a powerful thing. Karma is everywhere. What are your thoughts on positive karma? Do you have any mantras that you live by? Is there anything you reckon that us guys can do to make ourselves feel pumped and better about the day? Please do also remember to subscribe. If you can subscribe, that'd be great. Um, don't bother if you don't want to. Um, and also um, share the video if you fancy doing that. That would be great. Um, and yeah, there we are. I've got my Manzilla platform as well. Have a watch the podcast and listen to the podcast put a link to it below. Thanks very much for your time. Have a great day and I will catch you next time.